Hi, we're going to show you the hot chocolate effects. What you need for this is a mug, um, ceramic glass, you know, your standard ceramic mug. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, but it can be your favorite mug, you know, that's favorite for whatever reason. Standard metal spoon, again, nothing fancy, just what you might have on hand. And then hot chocolate, or once you see this, you might have other ideas. Um, of other things to try. But our standard is hot chocolate mix. I happen to have a pre-measured packet. It doesn't have to be pre-measured. Um, this is going to go in powder form into the mug as hot chocolate does. Some people think you should put water in first. They're wrong. I put the powder in first. There, nothing special and then I have some hot water that's already been hotified and I'm going to pour that onto the chocolate and I'm just trying to put it on there like I would for making hot chocolate and then I'm going to stir it usually when I talk about this I say oh you're going to be stirring a lot of hot chocolate but it's not the stirring that's the really interesting effect it's what comes next after you've stirred Tap. And listen. And then maybe my favorite part, you should be hearing the pitch continually going up. Then stir again. There you go. That's the hot chocolate effect. Stirring the hot chocolate and then tapping, you'll see or hear a lower pitch that continues to go up and up and up and up and up. And it repeats itself after you've re-stirred. This is your big quest.